Hello and welcome back to Warhammer Geheimerschnack. This time we're going to be playing as the Beastly Beastmen and we are in a very interesting spot. We are surrounded by people who are going to be very, very fond of war. We have chaos tribes all around us. They are pretty much just going to be warring all the time and we want to join them. Now, who are we? We are a 20 year old beast man who has a tribe but has no wife, has no concubines, has no children. We, we have no future currently. We need to secure that. We also need to get some more land and basically conquest. We also have, well it says we have zero manpower, which isn't very good. We need to get some of that as well, which means more land. So how are we going to do that? Well, we can gather Beastmen army if we have enough prestige and we're at war, which basically just gives us a little extra men. It's not really that impressive, it's not that many. But if we get a lot of prestige, we can potentially do something with that. We can also get slaves from elves, dwarves, and humans, which we can do various things with. That could also help out a little bit. We can also prepare offerings. Now, this is the one that I think is probably going to be good, because we can issue a great offering to the gods beneath the herdstone, increasing our renown and being able to draw more warriors under our banner. So, well, I think this one is going to be our way of getting the most troops. And I think that's what we want to aim for. We want to do lots of conquests, prepare our, like get gold, prepare our offerings, and then, uh, well, you know, get more men, do more conquests, get more offerings. G generally beast men things. So, uh, first things first, we need a wife. Because if we don't have a wife, it's going to be a very, very short uh, campaign here. So, what do we want from a wife? Well, we could marry into one of these ones. One of these, like, independent places down here. And actually, that means that we would get some inheritance going on. I'm not sure that's a good idea, but let's have a look here. How, how would that work? So, we are a war herd, which means right at the bottom, we cannot reform into any government. That's fine. Um, can we inherit? That's what I want to see. Can't grant kingdoms, can't receive kingdoms. Okay, so as long as we do it below a kingdom, we should be fine. As long as we keep it at a duchy level. Well, that seems very useful. So what we want to do is probably marry one of these higher ups if they fit our criteria. So we're looking for a lustful lady. Let's have a look here. Not a lustful lady, a lustful lady. Right, then we probably want the highest rank. Let's have a look here. 24? We could also marry a dwarf apparently? I'm not sure how that quite works, but okay. Let's have a look at this. Dwarf holds a lot of land down south. I think that we, we were made for each other. So, let's arrange marriage. Me and her. Yes. To prefer a matrilineal marriage, but she gets a lot of prestige from marrying into us. We must have a king level title then. We, we are a nomad from um, the, uh, what's it called? From the Horse Lords DLC. So we probably, yeah, I think that means, I think we are a king level title. Yeah, that makes sense. That would be why she's got getting a lot of prestige from marrying into us. So we'll go with that. That seems all right. I mean, unless we have, like, a very, very impressive dynasty. No, we have one living member ever. And 70 prestige. Oh, wait, I can actually see what level we are if I do that. Fantastic. Oh, where I say an empire level title. Fantastic. That means we can have all sorts underneath us. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ambition. I think we want Groom and Air. Because we want the 20% fertility. The other option is win a war. Win a war would give us pl a one extra marshal. Which is alright, but... I think we need the air first. I think that's kind of our first priority. Which is why I think we might also go family, which gives us even more chance for an air and gives us some health to survive. Is family or hunting for me? And I think that's the one we go for. I think after we have an air, we'll probably go war pretty much all the time. But, you know, family just for a little bit of survivability. Now, we also need a couple of concubines. So, we're going to search um, just the realm. I said we could search all if we just choose join court, yes. Uh, they have to be in diplomatic range. They are not going to be a ruler. They are not going to be married because they'd say no. Uh, they are not going to be in prison. They are going to be a woman. And uh, let's have a look here at the ages. Actually, no, we could we can uh, narrow this down some more. We're looking for lustful. There we go. We haven't got a large list, have we? So these two 23-year-olds, can we take them as concubines? Yes, fantastic. Uh, yeah, both of them. Everyone's saying yes. Seems good. How many concubines are we allowed? I suspect we're only allowed two. So it says we're allowed five here. But it says we're allowed two being a Chaos Undivided. So I think the lowest one overrides. So that's why we can only have two. 
Um, one thing I should mention is that we are playing this slightly differently than we have before. We're playing this with some sub mods on. So we're playing it with um, the old world removed, which removes basically the elves and the lizard men from that side. And we're also playing with rat catcher on, which removes the skaven. Now the reason we're doing that is pretty much they're not going to be important to us. Like right now, we're all the way up here. These guys, they're never going to impact us in any way. Um, but everyone else is, so that's why we're leaving them on. We, we could possibly uh, have enabled, like, Skaven, because we might potentially go down here, but um, basically, this game, well, this mod runs really badly. Like, if you have everything on, so that's what we're doing. That's why we're doing it like that. Um, okay, so we got all that going. Let's make sure we have some people here. So, perform statecraft seems fine, because we got so descent. Improved land sentiment doesn't do anything, because we have no other clans. Improved diplomatic relations doesn't do anything, because we don't really have any vassals. In fact, we don't, I don't think. Um, yeah, we have no vassals. So, yeah. Unless we're doing Soul Descent, might as well just perform Statecraft. It doesn't do very much apart from lower threat. So, that's fine. Here, we have a couple of different options. We have some new ones. So, we have Organize the Army, which we've seen before. We have Suppressed Revolts, we've seen before. We have Trained Warriors, we've seen before. That one increases your manpower growth. Manpower being this one. And that basically, um, I think that's something to do with your population... It's like a manpower population calculation I've never learned, but basically the more manpower you have, the more you, this uh, reinforces, essentially. Uh, we can spread chaos, so we can wreak havoc and increase our prestige as a horde master. So 100% chance every um, year that we will plunder and increase our fame. So that's why we're going to get so much prestige, because we're going to get that, we're going to get a lot of prestige from this event. Okay. Um, so that's why the, uh, sorry, the Gather Beastman army thing costs so much prestige. Alright. What's the other option? To spoil land. So this one gives us piety. Um, and gives us a chance of rallying a war herd. That sounds really useful. Like just getting some free troops. So let's do that for just now. Like tribute's not going to do anything because we have no vassals or tributary rulers. Um, I guess we're going to... Well, we can either administer the realm... Which will improve our, our realm or as uh, smugglers enter our realm at equal amounts. Or we can research economic tech. So let's do that. Our tracker is going to scheme and we don't have a court priest. Okay. Uh, are these the best people available? It looks like they are. I kind of assumed they would be. But yeah. They are. Okay. Wait, was that? Yeah. Uh, well, we only have one other person available and they're rubbish. Okay. Uh, so we need a priest. Uh, can we invite one? Yeah, we can invite a priest for some piety. That sounds good. 50% chance of two different named people. Let's get one. And our priest is named Kurath. I don't think that was one of the options, but okay. Um, he doesn't appear to be any good at learning at all, but whatever. He's our priest. Um, we could hunt apostates, but there are no societies which we can join or which would be in our realm. We're not going to do that. Um, we could uh, convert, but I believe everything's our religion anyway. So, we might as well research cultural tech. Right, what else have we got? Designated Regent. Designated Regent is gonna be... Well, I suppose we can make that our wife at some point. Although, she won't be in our realm. Uh, maybe one of our concubines is better? I'm not sure. We could probably leave that for just now, but let's have a look here at... Um, we maybe have it be the other big one of the other Bighorns uh, people. Apparently, that's very important in our society. Um, really for Regent, maybe we want to do it by stat. So maybe we want high diplomacy so people will like our Regent if we have to go into that. So maybe like Vor, our speaker. Okay. That seems reasonable. And then our commander, we have a couple of slots free. We'll put in that one. Uh, anyone else? No, but because we are fairly, um, you know, renowned, what we can do is we can say, actually, uh, I don't want women. I want men. Who are not in prison, not married, not a ruler. Same kind of stuff, but we're looking for high marshal this time. So we'll get uh, Thakzul. Okay, uh, invite him to our court. We'll also get uh, Pengil. I, th I think that's Thengil. I think that's how you say that one. Uh, and we'll get uh, Salomon. Just a couple of extra people in our court. Right, anything else we need to worry about before we get started? Uh, not really. We have more than uh, we can supply in hordes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. Right, what types of wars do we have with people around us? What can we do right off the bat? 
We can establish tributaries or we can migrate. Okay. What is migrating? So if I go to migrate... So you can migrate along for herds to a new land to spoil in the name of the ruinous powers. Be warned you will lose any land you currently own. Not ideal. Okay. Not ideal. So we take all occupied titles and we gain a population boom. So we get more population by doing that. It's not great though. Establishing tributaries is probably a better way of doing it. And these are the new style of tributaries that came with uh, the Jade Dragon patch. So these are the tributaries which um, are yours until you have negative prestige. So that seems very, very useful. Or we can humiliate and that would just strengthen our, our own clan. So we uh, basically go in there, steal some people, get some population. I think tributary seems like a good one. Basically pick someone, beat them up. Um, anybody actually weaker than us? If nobody's weaker than us, we may have to go raiding, which doesn't sound like the worst idea ever. Yeah, no one is weaker than us, so I think we want to raid. In fact, everybody is exactly stronger than us, which is a little bit unfortunate. Let's unpause and see how things go. Okay, so are we getting married? No. Okay. Um, was that because she's a different race? Now, we shouldn't be able to marry different races, but it was giving us the option, so I was wondering whether it was going to allow us to. We could marry another clan leader. That could potentially be interesting. Hmm. Yeah, let's try marrying another clan leader. Let's see if she says yes. She might say no. Uh, yes, we have a concubine at the very least. We have some people in our court, so you are going to be... Uh, oh, not offer. Uh... I can't do it from that menu. That's fine. I was just going to make them my, um, what's it called? Commanders. Thaxul and uh, Akar, I guess. That's fine. That guy can't be my commander, apparently. Interesting. Uh, yes, we have another concubine. So we now have two concubines. Plus, I didn't even notice our Beastman gives us an extra 50% fertility. Uh, which is very, very good. So Beastman, Lustfuls were at, like, 70%. 95, 115%. I think that's how it works. I don't think it's... I think it's uh, additive in terms of percentage. We have another person who joined our court who probably can't uh, actually be a... Uh, uh, ooh, okay, we're getting the married thing. Aha! That worked. So we are actually married. That's fine. That works. I can see our beast man and human work because we are effectively, um, like, warped humans, I think. Yeah, yeah, feral humanoids. So that kind of works out. Uh, do you want prestige or do you want gold? We all, like, we really want prestige. I think that seems, sounds a lot better. So we now have a wife. Uh, she's not got any positive traits for this. Although, actually, no, underhand rogue does give, or underhanded rogue does give her some stuff there. That's good. Um, let's go on a little bit of some raiding. I'm not going to lead the armies ourselves right now because we don't actually have... Uh, like, we might just die, and I'd prefer not to do that right now. Is there actually anyone we can raid who has any meaningful land worth raiding? Probably not, so I think we're going to hope that we capture someone, basically. Um, Yeah, let's head in here and see what we can get. Maybe we'll capture something? I'm not sure. Rumors of doom. Rumors reach you that in the distant lands of Sylvania, a powerful vampire by the name of Lad von Karstein has summoned a massive army of undead and makes war on the fragmented empire. Alright, interesting. Now, I'm not sure how he's going to do. It seems each patch it kind of changes, like always really strong, always really weak. So we'll see exactly what kind of a Vlad we get this time. Right, and down here... They moved their capital at actually the perfect moment for us. So that means that we are going to siege this down very quickly. So we already looted everything. We finished the siege. I, I guess we finished the siege. Is that it? Yeah. So we can't actually siege these properly. That's useful to know. Very useful to know. Arrange marriage. So this is Beg Radu. Okay. Just some random person would like to marry Twillet. One of uh, the people in my court. I'm just going to say no for just now. That's fine. We will refuse them. So, absolutely no reason to go raiding in our current area. That's unfortunate. 
For a second there, I thought we'd got this land. I was just looking at it like, oh yeah, that must be our land. No. Um, so, you try and establish a tributary somewhere. Um, how strong are you, the people we just raided? You're, you're actually weaker than us now. That sounds like we could easily take this land. Let's go for a little... Do you want to migrate? Probably not. I think we don't want to just establish a tributary. It gets us basically somebody who will follow us. Which is fine. That's what we're after. Uh, do we not have enough... Um, it looks like we don't actually have enough commanders. Or ones uh, ineligible. Who have we got? We got uh, Slalut and Rakzul. So, Akar is not available because that's our tracker. Okay. Or is our speaker and we have a herder. But actually, what we need to do is we need to find somebody who is a... Oh, I suppose we need to search for beast man. There is no beast man. Or there are no beast men. Um, okay. Well, there's not really a lot we've really got down there. So, I guess we're not going to find any. That's uh, useful to know. Useful to know. Uh, let's, yeah. Well, I guess if we have, if there aren't any, there aren't any. That's about our current situation, isn't it? Right, assault that down. Taking that land. Oh, we are being attacked. Hopefully we'll do okay. Um, we have slightly more men in both of those flanks. They have a leader in this one and a leader on the far one. The leader is Craven here, though, which will mean that this one's a little bit weaker. What type of men do they have? So they're all like Cav. We have heavy infantry and light infantry, which I believe are slightly worse. So we have worse men, but they have, um, and they have better leaders, but we have more of them. We're also a little bit low on morale, because I literally just assaulted, which lowers your morale slightly. Let's go slower, let's see what we get. So I'm not feeling good about this. Yeah, oh my, oh my, we, we didn't even, that's not even close. We actually got destroyed. Uh, we can enforce demands. Perfect. Just enforce demands before the, f the thing's over. Um, I can't combine this pregnant. Offer peace. We surrender. Accept. Aha. That was a good battle for us. Right. Whew. Closer than I would have liked. We have a tributary. Somebody who will pay us money. And will join our wars. That's what we're looking for. Our hoard upkeep is going to be very expensive right now because we are uh, recovering, basically. Why are they hostile? They shouldn't be hostile because we just peaced out. Yeah, we peaced out and they're on our side. Unless that's a different kingdom. No, that's the same one. Oh, it's because we raided them recently, I think. That's why we're hostile. They're going to Alesh. Where's Alesh? Uh, Ale oh, they're just heading back. That's okay. Yeah, it's because we raided them. That's where we were still hostile at the end of it. My wife is pregnant. Okay. That's fine. We have a little bit of doubt about that. We're not paranoid, so that's probably true. We should be worried, but that is t uh, that's a concubine pregnant and our wife pregnant. That's very good. We can hopefully get some heirs from this. My other concubine's pregnant. Apparently, 115% fertility is actually pretty high. Anyway, I think that is a good point to end the episode on. We have successfully conquested something. Well, I mean, we successfully made them our tributary. And I think it's time to, uh, I think I already said it was time to end the episode. So, thank you for watching. As this is the first episode of a series, I would encourage you to like the video, encourage you to subscribe, or encourage you to comment. All of that really helps with search ranking, helps the channel grow, helps the series grow, and is generally good just as a, as a habit. At least for me. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.